Hello and welcome back. So today I have a combined order haul from Witch Baby Soap. One of them is from her Throwback Thursday and the other one is from her City Witch collection, which I don't know if it's just my own mind, but I feel like her City Witch collection was abnormally small. I feel like she always has like a bunch of things and I feel like it was just soap and some butters and like a few bombs. Um, but maybe I'm just, I'm just overthinking it, but I feel like it was small because I thought I was going to have to like, you know, take out a loan or something. <laughs> I'm just kidding, not a loan. But you know, I thought I was going to spend a bunch of money and I only spent like, I think 60 bucks or something, but I didn't get like a lot of things. I only got a few things because I have a lot to get through as far as body butters go and scrubs. But Anywho, let's just get into this. Here is her business card and all the ways you can find her. I apologize for the noise in the background. I have the door open and Horace is running around, so. It's a somewhat nice day. It's cold, but it's not snowing and it's not raining and it's a little bit bright, so I'll take it. And this is the code for 5% off. And then as always, it comes with a sticker. I have so many of these now, I don't know what to do with them. Um, let's see here. Okay, okay. So I'm going to start off with the Throwback Thursday items. Um, let me pull them out of the box here. I just picked this up, so still a little bit wrapped up and whatnot. Um, let's rip into the packaging. Okay. Sometimes I forget what I order. Ooh, oh yeah. She had a bunch of soap available and I, I like her soap a lot, but I have so much soap right now that I don't need, I don't need any soap. But it doesn't mean I don't want any because I wanted to get them. They look really cute. They have like little crowns on them as far as her City Witch collection goes. Um, porous stuff. Okay. I think I've opened up the last of the throwback items. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm making such a mess over here. All right, okay, so the first thing I have here, not throwback related, but just I had to get one because it's a bath bomb that I really like. Um, so I picked up another love bath bomb. This smells like apples and roses, and it has some nice rose petals inside there. Um, and then, let's see here, I think I'm actually missing one. Yeah. Hmm, I'm trying to figure out which one of these is another bath bomb that isn't part of the new collection. Let's, I'll just figure it out So we go along here. All right, and then I picked up two of her Peace, Love, and Witchcraft bath bombs. Uh, I'm not sure what this is scented. Oh, it's scented in Ghost Flower and Sand. I don't think I've had this one before. I don't, I feel like I have it, and so I saw it, and I was like, you know what, I love these little bombs. They're cute. Why not? Um, it smells good. I also got it in a half size of the scrub. And here's what it says about that. Let me give it a sniff here. It smells good. It smells very floral. I'm not really getting much of that sand, but it's slightly there. So there's that. And then I picked up the full size of the Magic Beach body scrub. I should have got the... The... The bath bomb, but I didn't even think to get it because I really like her scrub, um, especially her salt scrub. And I love it when it has glitter because then I'm just like sparkly and I love the scent. It's sea salt, lime, and agave. Uh, I got this, I think, how many collections back? I think from 2017 or maybe it was 2016 that she released this one. It's really good. One of my favorites. And one of you guys actually told me it was being released as a throwback. So thank you. I got it because of you, because I was like, yes, I know I said I wasn't going to buy anything, but I need this. Um, and then while I was on there, I saw that she had also released Honey Child Bath Potion, which is rain, grass, wildflowers, and honey. I've had the soap before, and I really liked it. It's like a yellow bar of soap with a black cross on there. Um, and I really liked the scent when I had it, so I figured I'm really in love with her bath potion, so it was a no-brainer for me. And I really like how this one looks. I like that this one has cornflower in there. Um, usually it has a bunch of like jasmine and stuff and it probably does too. Here are the ingredients. 
Let me smell it and see if it smells just as good as it does in soap. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that scent. I wish you could make this like a permanent. It's so good. You get that honey, but you get the flowers and you get the freshness of the rain and the grass. I cannot wait to use that. I think my other bath potions are like down to here. So I was like, oh, I need to, I need to chill. But pretty soon I'm going to be going into summer and I won't be taking as many baths because it's just too freaking hot. Um, all right. Now I got to figure out which one of these coffin bath bombs is is the one that I ordered in a throwback or you know just part of her regular line um, and not part of her city witch so I'm just going to cut into this one and hope for the best okay cool so this one says you've seen my descent now watch my rising Rumi and it's her death bath bomb I really like this bath bomb I haven't gotten it in a while um, but it's yellow and black but when you put it in the water it's like this deep red and it smells delicious um very fresh and clean, slightly floral. I really like it. I think it has like an apple scent to it, maybe. I'm excited to have more of that. Let me see. How can I back this up or forward to make more room? Man. Okay. It's going to have to do it. All right, so that's everything that I got that isn't part of her City Witch collection. Now let me pull out the items that are part of her City Witch collection. Oh, I lied, I have one more item. I'm a big fan of using the same products throughout when I'm showering. So if I use, for example, the Magic Beat body scrub, I like to follow it up with the Magic Beach body butter. So a lot of these things, like if I take a bath of love, I'll use the oil and the scrub and the body butter. Um, so I have the lead and milk body butter, but I am out of the scrub and this is one of my favorite scrubs. I love the scent, so I got another one of these. It's full size blood orange and coconut milk. If you guys like the scent of sunscreen, this is a great scent. And it's also salt, and it just has that like yummy, creamy, coconutty, beachy vibe to it. And it just, on the days that it's really gloomy and I want a little bit of sunshine, I'll use this product and I'll feel instantly better. And it's really moisturizing, which I love. Okay. All right, so that is that is the regular line with some throwbacks in there. And now onto the City Witch. So as I mentioned, I didn't get that many things, um, but I did pick up a full size of her 1111 body scrub, which is cherry blossoms and rose. I really liked this scent when I got it in the spell box. The only thing with this one is that it's not as oily, it's a little bit drier. Um, some of them are like, creamier and stickier, like oily. Some of them are just like dry. This is a drier one. And some of them are like um, puree type. So this is one of the drier ones, but it still moisturizes and it smells delicious. I didn't get it in the body butter or the body oil only because I have so many body oils and body butters I need to get through. So I figured getting another body butter just because I like the scent was kind of like unnecessary because I'm not going to get through it and then it's just going to sit there and I'd rather get through the things that I have um but I believe I got it in an oil maybe I got another thing in an oil we'll see and then I picked up oh her head witch in charge body oil which is mandarin oranges and tuberose I got a travel size of this because this is not one of the things that she sent in the spell box for you to try out what the scent would be and I like how she's adding crystals to them now um so this one I was like, well, I like it. I like those things on their own, but sometimes two burrows can be a bit much. So I figured get a travel size, see how I like it. And then if I like it, I can get more. Mm, I get mostly that orange. Let me see. Okay, so at first sniff, you get the orange and then right away you get the two burrows. And then you're back to the orange, like orange, uh, like if you had an orange peel and you squeeze out the oil, it's like that kind of a scent. I don't, I think it's a little too floral for me and not an enjoyable kind of way. So I'm glad I didn't get the bigger one. Um, so yeah, I'll see how I like it using more of it. And then in that same line, I got her Head Witch in Charge 
bath bomb and it says on there rest and power. And this one is gorgeous, solid gold. It looks like a brick of gold. Beautiful. It's in that same scent. And right away when I sniff it, I get that orange, but I would say the oil is definitely stronger. So I don't know if this one has a crystal or something inside. I think there might be. I know one of them does in this new collection. So let me. Now down to the last few things. I got her High Society bath bomb. And this one is scented in a pink cushion pineapple or something. It was very fruity in the soap. I'm not a fan of like fruity scents. I figured in a bath bomb it wouldn't be bad and it smells pretty good. Like smelling in the bath bomb I like it a lot better than I did in the soap. This smells pretty good. Okay. And then I got her crystal, <laughs> crystal baller bath bomb. And I believe this has a sphere of clear quartz inside of it, which I think is cool because it's a crystal ball or a crystal ball inside, like pretty nifty. This one smells like a, a new age shop, which I really like. You get that smoky, incense -y vibe. Delicious. Um, I liked the oil in it, but like it wasn't like super strong scented. So, I mean, there are other things I can use than something that's kind of mildly scented, but I like the scent in the bath bomb. But that is everything that I got from Witch Baby Soap. This round, um, I'm not sure what she's releasing tonight for her throwback Thursday, but I'm going to try my hardest not to go on there, but I might go on there because I think I want to get um, another one of these. I liked the scent of it. I don't know. I should stay away, but sometimes I just can't help myself. But okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys bought anything from her City Witch collection, what are your favorites? And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.